Welcome to Maths is easy. Hello, friends. There is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels. I'm here for the same. Today in this video, I'm going to solve chapter percentage and its applications. Exercise 9.2, question number 6 to 10 of class 8. So if you guys want to see the solutions of earlier chapters like rational numbers, square and square roots, cube and cube roots, exponents, quadrilaterals, algebraic expressions, surface area and volume. You can go by the playlist where all the links are available of their solution. And moreover, if you guys want to see the solution or if uh, you know, if you have siblings who are in class 7 and having the same publication house, the solution of chapter integers and fractions are also available. So let's not to waste further time. Check it out how to solve question number 6 to 10 of exercise 9.2 chapter percentage and its applications. So question number 6 says Aftab buys one dozen pens for rupees 54 and sells them at rate of 6 for rupees 30. Find his loss or gain percent. So here we have to find out the loss or gain percent. So how would we start the question? Cost price of one dozen pens. equal to rupees 54 and cost price of one pen equal to rupees 54 by 12. Now selling price of six pens would be rupees 30 and selling price of one pen would be 30 by 6. Now, profit is always equal to selling price minus cost price. So, selling price is 30 by 6 minus cost price 54 by 12. So, 12 30 minus 12, 60 minus 54. So our answer will be coming out to be as 6 by 12. Now profit percent, how would we calculate profit percent? 6 by 12 upon 54 by 12 into 100. So, 6 by 12 into 12 by 54 into 100. So, answer would be coming out to be as 100 by 9 or we can convert into the mixed fraction like 11 whole number 1 by 9 percent. This is our answer. Hope the question is clear. Any type of doubt is there. Feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box. Have a full glance of question number 6. Now let's move to the question number 7. So question number 7 says... A man purchased some books at 4 for rupees 39 and sold them at 3 for rupees 42, thereby gaining rupees 51. How many books did he purchase? So how would we start the question? Cost price of 4 books.
39 cost price of one book 39 by 4 it means 9.75 now selling price of three books would be equal to 42 and selling price of one book equal to 42 by 3 14 profit 14 minus 9.75 4.25 now total profit Rupees 51 is given to us and profit on one he is having 4.25 rupees. Now, number of books we can find out now. Number of books sold would be equal to what? If we divide 51 by 4.25 it would get cancelled by answer would be 12. So, therefore, he sold 12 books. This is our answer. It was all about question number 7. Have a full glance of question number 7. Now, let's move to the question number 8. So question number eight says, a vendor bought plastic containers at rate of four, four rupees 15 and sold at rate of three, four rupees 12.75, thereby gaining rupees 7.50. How many containers did he buy? So how would we start? Let number of containers bought be X. So cost price of four containers equal to rupees 15. Cost price of one container. 15 by 4 and cost of x containers would be 15 by 4 x now selling price of 3 containers rupees 12.75 and cost of X containers 12.75 by 3 X. So profit is 12.75 12.75 by 3 x minus 15 by 4 x. Take the LCM. LCM would be coming out to be as 12. 51 x minus 45 x equal to 7.50. 
So six x is equal to ninety x is equal to ninety by six. So fifteen. So he bought. Fifteen containers. This is our answer. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting in the comment box. So it was all about question number eight. I have a full glance of question number eight. Now let's move to the question number nine. Question number nine says Ramona sells her bicycle at a gain of twelve percent. Had she sold it for rupees twenty five more, she would have gained fourteen percent. Find the cost price of the cycle so we will start question number 9 let cost price be x so 12% profit is given to us yes so 12% of x plus if we add 25 rupees she would have got how much 14% of profit so solve it 14 by 100 x minus 12 by 100 x so 25 equal to 14 x minus 12 x by 100 25 equal to 2 x by 100 So 25 into 100 by 2 equal to x. So answer would be coming out to be as 1250. So cost price of cycle was rupees 1250. It was quite simple question. So this is our answer. Have a full glance of question number nine. Now let's move to the last question of this video. That is question number 10. So question number 10 says, by selling a watch for rupees 57 more, Chiku would have made a profit of 14% instead of 8% profit. What was the cost price of the watch? So how would we start the question? Cost price of watch. Suppose. 100%. So how much was the profit? Profit are 14%. And 8%. So, from this, we can find out selling price would be 114% and 108%. How? Because we will add profit into the cost price. So, it would become selling price, cost price plus profit equal to selling price. So, 100 plus 14 would become 114 and 100 plus 8 would become 108. Now, now 108% plus 57 would become 114%. So 57 would be equal to 114% minus 108%. So cost price 
57 would be equal to 6%. Now cost price, 100%. 57 by 6 into 100. Nineteen into fifty. That would be equal to nine fifty. So cost price were rupees nine fifty. So it was all about question number ten, and this is our answer. Hope all the questions are clear from question number six to question number ten. Have a full glance once again. In my next video, I'll be solving from question number 11 to question number 15. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.